Hello everyone, it's Marek Molacek here and welcome to another video. We we'll do another video in Premiere, but this time I want to show you how we can take a sequence and we can export it in 4K or Ultra HD as we often call it. And also how to get great quality. Uh, especially in this example, I'm actually going to use some low res videos. I've got these videos I'll be working with here. And if we have a look in the list view, these are just 1280 by 720. <clears throat> so they're just a standard HD. And we'll be exporting them in 4K. So if we have a look at the sequence here, I mean, the quality is okay, obviously. <laughs> they good quality. <clears throat> Keep in mind, I'm playing at half, so if I change it to full, <clears throat> let me show you again. So there's no jaggedness on the edges. It's all nice and sharp in here. Good quality content. Everything's in focus. But this is just 720p. This is just 1280 by 720. And we'll be exporting it in 4K. So we're going to make it much, much bigger. Keep in mind, 4K is four times full HD. Full HD is 50% bigger than 720p as well. 50% uh, wider, 50% taller as well. Okay. Uh, 4K is double the width and double the height of full HD. Okay. So we'll be exporting this uh, sequence. So go to export. Yeah. We'll be exporting as a normal video here, normal media file. However, so we'll be exporting the MP4, just so you know as well. So we'll do a normal uh, H.264 codec MP4 file. Or potentially we could even use the H.265, which is even better, more efficient. So we could consider H.265 in here as well. Okay. <clears throat> We've got a preset drop down menu where you can choose different options here. So I would go for a standard high quality 4K, high quality 2160p 4K. And that's fine if it goes to the videos for that's okay. Yes, it's going to be quite big, obviously. <clears throat> so let's just have it exporting. So it shouldn't take too long. And Typically, in all the cases I've seen, all the tests I've done on different sequences, you get fantastic quality. You get no loss of quality, let's put it this way. So you get amazing quality, <clears throat> which is pretty much the same to the original. However, where well, the original is just 720p, this one is 2160p. This one is 4K. So you can easily work with slightly lower resolution content. Obviously, you need some pixels, so obviously the content should be high quality and you need to have quite a high resolution to start with. But if your content is high definition, even lower high definition, you can easily export it in 4K and you can pretty much keep the same quality. Okay, so let's have a look at this here. <coughs> Where's the video? What do we call it? Uh, Cafe. So let's have a look at this video here and let's see what's going to. So you can see it's the same quality. There's no uh, pixelation in the video. But this is 4K. <coughs> but the quality wise, it's exactly the same. That's the amazing part about exporting and upscaling from Premiere at the same time. No visible loss of quality, even though we made it so much bigger. Okay. So going back to Premiere, uh, remember you can use H.264 codec, obviously, if you want to. But I just went to H.265 in this case, because it's more efficient. But remember, you may want to stick to H.264 for the web, because uh, H265, HEVC is well still quite a new codec, you could say. Uh, basically, the older devices, old devices will not support it. Or some older uh, TVs or older DVD or Blu ray players won't support it either. So you, can, you may want to stick to H264. But if you know your audience is going to use uh, newer devices, then H265 is just fine. You know, every Every modern mobile phones or every mobile phone that came out in the last, I don't know, five, six years uh, uses H.265 codec uh, by default for shooting video, or at least when you're shooting at high resolution. Okay, okay. 
<clears throat> so that's how you can export in 4K from Premiere and keep great quality. Uh, just remember when you export in, say, H.264 for the web, for example, you do also have presets for, for 4K for different online platforms. So you can scroll down to more presets. I usually do a search, so say, like, U for YouTube, you get YouTube 4K, or VIM for Vimeo, you get Vimeo 4K, and you got FAC for Facebook 4K as well. And not for X or Twitter, because it doesn't support 4K video, okay? <coughs> okay, so that's how you can export in 4K from Premiere, even with lower resolution media. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulaczyk from MarekMulaczyk.com and hope to see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.